let's do a sketchbook tour. I hope this is in frame, but I'm filming at such a weird angle right now. Um, anyways, I just finished my latest sketchbook. Um, I should probably start counting what number this is, but this one took me about seven months to complete. I'm trying not to show my pajama pants there, but I've been working on this one from December 2018 till June uh, 2019. It is currently July first. I'm getting around to filming this, and I actually finished this on June. 16th I believe and I started this is my new one. I started this one on June 16th too. I'm hoping that since it's like smaller or like thinner that I'll feel better about completing it in a shorter amount of time because I really want to complete sketchbooks quickly but like still semi nicely you know for some reason. But anyways let's get into the promise tour. Um, so I have an art snack sticker this is a paper sticker from Adri, aka Groovy Mutants, and then this is a Adventure Zone sticker that I got off of Redbubble. Um, they've seen better days, they've all gotten kind of beat up on the sketchbook. Anyways, like I said, I started this sketchbook on December 2nd and I finished it on, oh sorry, June 18th. 18th? I thought it was 16th. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, here is a Pervana sticker from my friend Daniel, aka Kitty Jenkins, aka Oh Meow Comics on um, Instagram. I'll link all that stuff. You'll see it pop up on the screen. <laughs> a sticker for my school that shut down. Yada yada yada. I didn't do anything on like the first first page just because it didn't. It opened weird. So let's just get into it. Just some sketches. You'll see wax seals like scattered throughout here because I got some wax seals and then I just started practicing with them everywhere in the sketchbook. Uh, I started playing uh, Cookie Run. So there's a page of Herb Cookie and um, Simon Snow, Carry On. I was working on some of my characters, Quinn and Emery in here. Uh, some, that was a lamp on Buena Vista Street uh, in California Adventure. Some more cookies from Cookie Run. This is when we're gonna start seeing Jay a lot. A ton, a ton, a ton. Yep, Jay. Uh, I had watercolor inks that I tried and I did like one study on top of it and then didn't do any more really. This is something that I actually painted. I painted a little wooden coffin that I had um, and I wrote Liches Get Stitches on it. Uh, I used to date everything and then I stopped. For some reason. This is Bon. He's one of my OCs. Some doodles of my plants. Drawing of my drink. We were sitting at the uh, Lamplight Lounge. The last word drink at the Lamplight Lounge was so good. <laughs> this was actually for a final for um, my anatomy class and I had to do it really quickly. So there it is and more trying to figure out Bonn-ish. We went to, this was the Natural History Museum. So I was, cause I was doing a lot of painting. I um, didn't have paint palettes yet. So I put all my paint on um, a sticky note and then I just liked how it dried. So I would cut them out and paste them. You'll see that a couple places. And then also I was making a lot of paper stars and I saved the, the clippings of it and I just, pasted those in too, so you'll see a lot of these places. That guy ended up being Merlin for some reason. Uh, redesigning my logo for a graphic design class. I still like that one. I might actually use one of them one of these days. Some hand studies, a plant, more redesigning logo-ish things. These are just thumbnails for uh, another graphic design project, which is the World Wildlife Fund uh, posters. I started watching Doctor Who again, so Alonzi. <laughs> and these were some pants on Pinterest that I was like obsessed with because my character Emery would so wear those. Uh, so I don't know why I just drew those off of the photo. Uh, this is actually a button now. What a handsome lad and it's a, uh, a T-Rex. 
and a list of LA plant shops that I want to go to, some Pinterest studies, and I like drawing skulls like this a lot. I don't know why. Um, another page with Jay and Abigail. Decided that Abigail, it would be entertaining if she made a Perry the Platypus noise, so. I want to still do a series of the rest of these, so we have a Leafy Lad and Poison Lad with different like dinosaur skulls and stuff. Uh, there's Kari in her basic pose. More uh, graphic design thumbnails. I at least I filled a lot of this up with like school stuff. I swatched my watercolors to see how they acted in this book. Some Posca pen doodles of Abigail's face. More Doctor Who while watching the show. Oh, and then Adrian and I went back to the Natural Mystery Museum, and this time I brought my sketchbook and um, drew it while we were there. I also had some watercolors too, so I just like did watercolor washes over pen sketches. And actually, fun fact, while I was drawing these ones, um, there was this dude in a T-Rex suit just like walking around the dinosaur hall, and we all thought he was there for like the museum or something. And then all of a sudden this guy and this girl come in, and turns out he was like the girl's friend or something like that, and he was helping her boyfriend propose. So like, he proposed to her in front of the T-Rex skeletons, like talk about dream. <laughs> a Dimetrodon, in a kind of like my style, I guess, a little more cartoony. There's some Abigail with um, some metallic watercolors that I have. And then, I still want to do something with this, either like a tiny postcard or a sticker or something, but I had the idea of a Dalek in like a face mask with some spa candles and wearing like a robe and stuff and it says exfoliate and I thought that was fun but yeah um this is my new OC Kent I was mainly like looking at fashion for him that's totally probably not what he's gonna look like at all but I was doing stuff but he's a paleontologist in the early 1900s because I can't get away from dinosaurs a mosasaur um I used uh the Crayola, just regular Crayola markers, and it turned out like really dark, so. Another wax seal, I got a Star Wars one. Some plants, uh, me and Kelso were watching Avenue Q and I was doodling the whole time. I used this page to like clean off my watercolor brush while I was doing these, and then I just started doing Avenue Q doodles on top of it. These were brainstorming for my buttons that I handed out at WonderCon, so I ended up going with this one for Taco, Taco, or with that one. I can't remember where I put the text in, but it says Taco from TV, and then that one for Loop, the Greg Grimaldis, and it has the the two, um, the ten dollars or fifteen dollars. Sorry, I watched Jurassic World. I'm trying to work on a like making recognizable characters in my style, I guess. I still don't know if I have a style, but I guess I do. And then I just Copic doodled <laughs> the Undominus. Jay, because he does, um, his last name's not Yancey anymore. I need to write down Yaris, um, because his mom's name is Nancy now, so I couldn't have Nancy Yancey. But uh, he does aerial silks, and I found this really cool pose that was like a, a star. Um, yeah, this was the one that I ended up doing for Jeremy, was the Mountain Dew and the Boyf backpack. Uh, more J. Still, like, a thing I want to do, like, a painting, kind of. Um, Mothman. More Mothman. Uh, doodles for my home, or home is zine that I did for Swapbot. More doodles. Figure out how I was going to draw the dog and the cat. Um... Another Mothman, <laughs> Sherlock, I guess. And then Mothman slamming his face into a book because he likes how old books smell. That was an inside joke thing. Um, This was just from a stamp set that I got for my pen pals and stuff. This was um the National Park stamps. And when I used all of them up, I just pasted this in here. And I did these on Easter Sunday at church. I started reading... Um, reading Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes stories because I have a collection so I can't draw mustaches they always look weird I need to practice that practicing calligraphy more calligraphy this is Athena um, 
She's one of my oldest OCs, Athena Stone. She's a detective in San Francisco. So I was finally figuring out like her face and hair and stuff. Yeah, and then I, I did the differences between my three characters that I tend to draw. Well, Kari's not in here, but I'll figure that out later. But Jay, Athena, and Emery. And then a weird alien dude. I haven't done portraits since I did the 11th Doctor when I was in like freshman year of high school. So I, of course, picked the hardest face to draw. Warm up doodles. A little egg. And this egg is dressed up as Groot. He like tapes little <laughs> twigs to him. So he says, I'm Groot. And here's Mermaid. Um, some of them aren't great. But I drew a mermaid for every single day of May. I actually completed a challenge. What do you know? Surprise, surprise, everybody. Even if some of them were just little tiny doodles and I filled up the page with black seals, I still... This is the only one I posted, um, was Jay. That was like the only way I was able to complete mermaid was if I wasn't like posting every single day, if I was just drawing one and allowing myself to make up one or two days if I needed to but as long as I wasn't pressuring myself to post all the time and so I actually rather liked that one for some reason I did references for some of them I hate the coloring on that I was trying to figure out because Jay's skin is transparent and like um, he reflects light and that just turned out bad more mermaid, a weird skeleton. I actually kind of like that one. You can always tell when I did not use references, especially when it's getting out to like the last days and I just wanted to be done. And then Abigail, of course. Uh, we went to Universal Studios, me and my friends, and we were sitting at um, Boba Gump's afterwards, just trying to wind down and have some snacks or whatever. And I was drawing the, cause there's lots of stuff in that restaurant to draw. So I was just observational drawing. And just more doodles. We watched Harry Potter musical again. A little owl. I actually like these a little kind of pudgy owl with the Hogwarts scarves. I tried to draw Xerophil. I don't know how well that translated. Um, <laughs> Elder Price made an appearance. Wow, what do you know? Um. Oh, and this was like our first sketch night. Um, with my friends. We've been meeting every single Tuesday at like 6 at a Starbucks to just draw for a couple hours. This was when Yamper was released, the new Pokemon. Yeah, so we were just drawing. So I drew um, Spinosaurus and Harry, I guess. I was trying to work out. I have a Harry Potter OC. I have a lot of OCs, just FYI. I have a Harry Potter, a Harry Potter OC named Adonis. I was trying to work him out. Uh, him more hands. I watched the Lego movie, or Lego Batman, and then I, this, this guy happened. I haven't drawn him again, but, yep. And then I figured out the watercolors were the best thing for Jay's skin, because they're metallic. Can you even see that? So, it had the right shine to it, and I was just messing with Posca pens and trying to fill up a page. We saw Dark Phoenix. I actually liked it. Uh, more Posca pens, working out like fanfic button ideas, I guess, like Pirates AU, Vampires AU, Coffee Shop AU, I don't know, it was just a scribbly idea. And this is just Emery attempting to do a draw this in your style from one of my friends uh, Lillian on, on um, Instagram, I can't remember, uh, I'll have to post the, her tag. <laughs> I'm so frazzled today, I don't know why. And then last page, I drew Bobby, Bobby Drake, Iceman, uh, in his non-ice form. So I guess I did finish this June 18th. I, did I write 16th on the start of the new one? I think I did, I need to fix that. Oh no, I wrote 18th, wow. I don't know where 16th came from. Well, anyways, this one had a little pocket, so there's just a couple like random things in here. But yeah, I actually really like this sketchbook. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's the travel uh, handbook one. They're small, they're kind of on the pricier side. They're like 15 bucks, but 
I mean, I used it for seven months and the paper is actually really good. It holds a lot of stuff. I didn't try gouache or anything on it, but it held watercolor pretty well, which is nice. And it's the perfect like size to keep in a backpack and it didn't get really banged up or lose pages or anything, which is all I can ask for. Um, this one that I'm working in now, I'm kind of nervous for is because it's the, um, while it's slimmer and like I can finish stuff up pretty fast, it's one of the ones from Michaels that are like $5 for two of them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not too hard on my sketchbooks, so hopefully it should be okay unless I decide to like whip out gouache again for no reason. So yeah. Anyways, that was my quick sketchbook tour. I just wanted to film it before I forgot really. So. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know what videos will be coming out next because my editing schedule is really weird. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye!